Okay, so we have a few updates to go through. There's quite a few a few to get through, but um, mainly what we've been doing is actually building um, uh, an Azure database and some Azure storage systems that we're shipping our content across to. This gives us much more options in terms of like building a web application that allow people to upload, share all their three-dimensional data from geological outcrops all the way around the world. Um, and so what I've been also trying to do is build in or um, update the Geo Explorer system to be able to interact with that um, Azure system, which has been a bit stressful at times, but uh, we got there mostly. Um, and also add a few more little cool little details. Um, we've uh, added some extra stuff up here, which allows us to share. Um, have a have a shared environment uh, for multiple users in the same same area uh, to see the holograms in the same place, um, and then uh, for getting ready for more and more content to come into this application, um, I've changed the way that you do icons. So I've got the original icons up here right now, um, showing the locations of different outcrops. But we have a few cases where we have multiple outcrops in a very small location, so I've built in a way of uh, doing it very similar to the high-rise models on Mars, um, doing an area selector. So if I select this area around this little yellow dot, you see, at the same location as the beaver tail fold um, in southern Rhode Island, I can select it, it turns blue, and if there's multiple ones, there'd, there'll be multiple ones turning blue, and there'll be multiple icons up here where it says beaver tail fold, there'll be a few more below it. But I just have the one outcrop at the moment um, within the... Uh, uh, within this particular uh, Azure storage folder. So if I click on that, it'll bring up eventually the uh, BeaverTel fold location, fold outcrop that I have, have in there. Hopefully it still downloads and it's not. So one of the gestures I've never really quite understood is this bloom one because it keeps being recognized at different times. Um, but we still have the same tool set up in here. We can scale the outcrop. Um, I think it's finally coming in. There it is. Uh, this is full scale, so I can walk around it in, in true scale, not walk into tables and things. You can see the fold axis right there. Um, I can walk back, and we've got this free manipulate thing that we can uh, tap on now and make it um, small and manageable. Uh, so there it is. Uh, you can see the fold axis a lot more clearly now in this size room. Um, reset that. Now I've also got this thing called context. And context essentially makes a map around the area that we were particularly looking at, that outcrop that we were looking at. This is Southern Rhode Island. Uh, Jamestown is right there. Um, and it's put a red marker in where uh, our outcrop is. Um, it's actually three-dimensional, so if it's actually... A more mountainous area you could actually see some mountains on this thing um, eventually we're going to have it so it's even more powerful you can actually move around the map um, you can actually zoom in and zoom out so let's uh, zoom in one level so this will re redraw the map it doesn't make it that much different but what also we can do is access the geologic data from macro strap using this slider and that brings in uh, geological boundaries, different units. You can see over here, uh, context between different geologic units. And if we click on the map, we can bring up information of that particular unit, which is kind of cool. Uh, and we can do that across different ones, including this one that has a, uh, a lot of information about it. Um, so yeah, eventually we'll get to the point where we can uh, we can move around the map, we can actually zoom out really far if we want to. We can go all the way down to zoom level 5, which will eventually, once the map gets redrawn. I haven't actually tried this at this level yet. Um, you actually see the whole of the East Coast from Florida and the geological map beneath it. Kind of cool.